welcome to Warren's World Foods with me, Warren, and Chloe. So first, we've actually got some sour Twizzlers. I actually got these in the one dollar or one pound store. These are fine for vegetarians as well. Chloe Blue. Oh, you can't have two. Double red. You can't have two. Mm. You maybe have two if they're gross. I'm not really sure what flavor this is. It's kind of like a cherry, maybe. I wouldn't say it's like really sour. Yeah, they're not really sour, but I love that. I'd give it a, an 8 out of 10. I'd rate that an 8 out of 10 on the Chloe scale. Okay, next up, I uh, have this Canadian maple syrup lollipop. It is from actual Canada. It's literally just 100% pure syrup. Here we go. Well, that's weird. It's like medicine. How do you even keep going with that? Take it, take it away. It's not so bad if you get into it, but like the first taste is a bit strange. I would rate that a two out of ten on the David scale. I don't think it's that bad, but I don't. I don't think I'd buy it again. I'd never have that ever again. I'd give it a six. Next, we got a load of chocolates. These are minis from the Gerard Deli store and I got them in Chicago. And we're just gonna close our eyes. <gasps> dark chocolate raspberry. I don't like dark chocolate, so should I go first? Oh, it's very dark. Yeah, I kind of got squished in my bag, I'm sure. Are you eating the outside? Still didn't get any raspberry. What? It tastes like coffee. How? I don't taste the raspberry. It tastes like coffee. I don't like that. I give that an eight. I give that a three, maybe a four. It wasn't unbearable. My turn. Sea salt soiree, dark chocolate with sea salt and roasted almonds. <laughs> They're all gonna taste like coffee. Oh. Mm. I don't like that. All I can taste is the almond. I don't like it. I prefer, I don't like dark chocolate, but you can't taste the dark, you just taste the almond. I'd give that like a four. I don't like it. I'd give that one a six. This is, oh no! Dark chocolate sea salt caramel. Ah, uh, no it's not! <laughs> it's been like covered in the caramel on this side. See, now you can see. That one's fine. You can just taste the caramel. That's so good. I don't mind that one so much. I'd rate that one a seven a maxes out of ten. I'd give it a nine. Oh, dark chocolate caramel. Mmm, I prefer the salty caramel. Mm. I give that a six Joyce's out of ten. I give it a seven. <laughs> this dark chocolate bourbon caramel. I think, I think this is gonna be nasty. I can't eat that. What do I do? Disgusting. I couldn't even swallow it. That was the worst. I still got the taste even though I had a drink of water. It's just I won't even give that a rating. That is like a Jefferson Zero. That tastes like I don't even know. <laughs> I can still taste it. It's like a birdie box every flavor bean. Yeah, it's like eating grass, or I don't even know. It's quick, just... let's get another one to take the taste away. Pick one quick. Please hurry. Oh no! Dark chocolate and mint. I don't even like mint, but this has gotta be better than that. 
Oh no, it's mint cream. It's good. I give it an A. If you like mint, that's fine, but I don't like mint. But compared to what I just have, I'll give it a fair five. Kate Marsh is out of ten. You don't have to give it a name. And you don't have to perv on me. I'm so happy. Milk chocolate caramel. That's the best one I've had so far. Mm. I'd give that a 6.5. Rachel Amber's out of 10. I'd give it a 9. That's really nice. Ooh. Dark chocolate. 60% cacao. What's cacao? I might not even eat this whole bit. It's so dark. I can tolerate it. If you don't like dark chocolate, you probably hate it because of how bitter it is, but it just tastes like coffee to me. I don't like it for Alyssa's out of 10. Oh no, why would I pick this one? I get to eat all the bad ones first. This one is intense dark. 92% Cacio. Cacao. Cacio. It's called Moonlight Mystique. It's as dark as Mark Jefferson's dark room. Oh. Oh. Coffee tasting overload. Oh man, no. Whoa. I hate that so much. But it's still not as bad as the bourbon. Even I don't really like that. I'd give that like a four. I'd give that a two Nathan Prescott's out of ten. Okay, so the last one is milk chocolate vanilla caramel. I mean caramel. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Open the other end. I'm gonna have to. Oh my god. Ew, it's so sticky! Oh my gosh, that's awful. It feed it to me, I don't want to get sticky. It's good though. That actually reminds me of butterbeer. I like that. I give it like an 8. I give it a 7.5 maxes out of 10 because we'll give Max another rating. Uh, next is a love potion which is a Harry Potter one. This was $9.95. I got this from the uh, Universal Orlando Resort. It's just like a liquid candy, that's what they describe it as. Oh, chug chug! That's enough! <laughs> oh. Oh. What's it like? It smells like Turkish delight. Oh. It's like eating perfume! Oh. Kind of is. It's not the worst, the texture is weird. It's like a syrup. I don't hate it. I don't- I give it like a 6.5, but I mean I bought it for the bottle though. <laughs> I give it a 4 Warren's out of 10. Why am I in the low side? <laughs> so the last thing I got is this! Astronaut ice cream! three flavored ones. So it's like the strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. It is freeze-dried ice cream and it's kind of crushed. Yeah. I got this from the <clears throat> Kennedy Space Center in Orlando. <laughs> oh, ice cream powder in my eye. It's in like an extra bag. It feels like nothing. It feels like chalk. It actually tastes like chocolate ice cream. It's a weird texture. I got the vanilla. You can have to bite a big bit, I guess. It's so weird. It tastes like ice cream, but it's just so strange. The texture! But I like it though. I mean, I just didn't know what to expect. I would rate that a 7... Victoria's out of 10. I give it like a, yeah, maybe a 7. And that's all we got for this mix of American, Canadian, space, food. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.